Hi guys, let's talk about why you should renew your passport before your five years is over, if five or 10 years, whatever, how long your passport lasts, and why you might need more than one passport to travel around. All right, first, visas. In a lot of cases, you might end up having visas that are in your passport. Let's say the visa is valid for five years, but your passport expires before that five year. That's possible. So you might have to keep that invalid passport with you until that visa expire. You may not you know, have to travel with it if you're not going to that destination, for example, but when you do, you're gonna have to need both your passport. You're gonna present your valid passport. They're gonna ask you if you have a visa, you know, show the second passport, say, yeah, it's in there. That's it, two passport. Second one, Israel. It is true that Israel will give you a card that you're gonna stamp separately and that you're gonna keep in your passport. And when you leave, you destroy the card, but Sometimes it may happen that they may want to stamp your passport. And if it's not Israel, it's other places. There's a bunch of countries that hate other countries because people can't get along and you may not be able to travel to one country if you have a stamp from another. Or you might have some issues, maybe questioned or something like that. So one way to do it, again, you'll need justification, you'll need explanation, why you need to do it, what's the risk, why but you can, you go to your government, you go to the passport office and you say, look, I already have one passport. I need the duplicated passport because I'm gonna be traveling often between Israel and Lebanon, for example. And I don't wanna have any issues. You cannot travel from one to the other. It's not working. The, you know, you cannot, if the minute that you have a stamp from Israel, you cannot enter a seven or eight countries around the world right now. So, and that might change, especially right now with the conflict with Israel and Hamas. So this is the issue that you will face. So you could ask them, please give me two passport that allow you to jug between passport, no problem. Of course, if you travel with the other passport that has the stamp from Israel on you, uh, if you get searched, they'll find out. So yeah, be smart, don't do it. Damaged passport. Uh, this one, basically I fell in the water with it. Uh, I was just helping a guy with his boat and unfortunately <laughs> we got pulled them I and it's a 40 feet boat. so. We literally got dragged in water for a bit while the wind picked up the boat. So that passport got damaged. You could technically travel with a damaged passport. It's not even much of an issue. And in this passport, I do have some visas and I never had an issue. I show up to the US government with my US diplomatic visa, which is in this damaged passport. And I saw, sorry, it got damaged. They check in the system. They see the passport and the visa is valid. No issues, but you will need to carry two passport because of that. So we go back to point number one, but a damaged passport, you should change it. Number four, visa runs. Now, if you live, let's say in Vietnam and every six months you have to get out of Vietnam, let's say to fly to Thailand to get your six months passport renewed, your visa renewed, then you're gonna have to do that. Uh, do that for five years, there you go. You just burn basically 10 pages. Uh, that's without including all the stamps and everything else that you need to do. Uh, a lot of countries, they literally monopolize a page to just put their little uh, visa on there and put a stamp to it. Some countries like Mexico, US, they will put, you know, maybe seven, eight, nine stamps. They all are gonna squeeze them all up in one page. It's very cool, there's no issue. But if they don't do that, if they just do one per page, you might burn tons of page. And for whatever reason, some countries don't like to stamp alongside others. So they use a page of their own. Um, a lot of countries pay, you know, use page 23, for example, and they, they know that, you know, they check page 23 and they will punch it in that page. Uh, this is the kind of thing that may happen when you travel like I do. You might fill your passport and have no page left by the time your five year expire. Number five, not enough time left in your passport according to some countries. So for example, if you wanna have a visa for China, for one year and you only have six months left in your visa, they will not allow it. That's it, you need to have that one year, no choice. Some will not even allow you to enter the country if your passport has not six months on it. That's another problem. So you're gonna have to have your six months available in your passport before you can enter the country because they will not allow you to be in the country with an expired passport. And this is the reason why I have so many passports and that's why I renew them all the time before their expiry date. That's all for that one, guys. I'll see you in the next video.